Let's play around with another bento style loop grid that you could use for postal products. And this is all done within one loop grid. And you should be pretty used to this method by now, but I'm going to show it to you anyway. So let's go back to the start. Here we have a loop grid. This is using Elementor WordPress. This is just uh, four columns and I'm only showing you five posts. I could, if I want go is six or seven or eight, but the particular layout only needs to have five. And the idea is, is that this pattern will repeat itself for every five posts. Then again, though, you may just want to show five posts on maybe your home page or another page where you're giving like a bit of a snippet over your blog archive. So we have got a loop grid, five posts, and this has just got a featured image, a post title and a post category or the post terms. What I'm then going to do, and this is how cool this is, OK, into the loop grid, so not into the template. I don't need to go into the template, right? You don't need to do that unless you want to, you know, do a background overlay or whatever. But on the loop grid, click the advanced tab, get down to custom CSS and drop this code in. And this code will be in the video description. And as soon as it's pasted, the layout has changes. Now, what we're going to do is apply one quick fix because the layout does not look right. And then I'm going to go through the code and you will totally understand this. Again, make sure you clicked on the loop grid, go to the content and over here it says equal height. And that equalizes the height. I just want to show you, though, that if you had gone for masonry, it then starts to overlap a little bit, which is not really what you want to go for. So I'm going to go with equal height. I mean, just bear that in mind, okay? The minute you do masonry, equal height does disappear. I do just want to clarify, though, because some people don't fully understand this, is that even if it was in descending order, it's the order of posts in how they appear. So we go 12, 11, 10, 9, and 8, okay? So it doesn't matter what is the very first one here. It's the order you can do whatever you want, but it's going to illustrate them in this manner. So let's have a look at the code in more detail. The E loop item is basically referring to every item on here. So I'm not specifying anything except the fact that I'm saying by default, every item on here is going to be one column and one row. Remember, this is four columns wide. So one, two, there's two columns here, right? Three and four. And it's also uh, got one, two, three uh, in height. Even though we didn't really set the height, we just said three columns um, and show five posts. But what this is saying is that when this is uh, illustrating on the page, I want one column wide and one row. If I had gone and changed this to be a two, then every standard post would be one column wide and two rows deep. And that's not the look I want to go for. So I hope that clarifies. Then I specifically touch three posts. So let's go over the logic. 5n minus 4. n is equal to 1. So 5n equals 5 minus 4. 5 minus 4 equals 1. Therefore, this particular bit of code now touches the very first item. And I've said the columns are too wide, which is what you got. And it's going to be three rows high. 1, 2, 3. Now, let's just say you only were showing um, four posts on here. And I just want to illustrate this, okay? So let's say I now drop this down to be four. This will still go down to be three columns, even though there isn't anything occupying this space over here. So if you ever get a layout that doesn't quite look right, just play around to make sure you've got either the right number of items or you've gone and specified your CSS correctly. And the great thing about this is that we can do everything on the fly here. Now we then go and touch post number three, 5n minus two, five times what n or five times one is five, minus two is three. And that is going to be one column wide, which is column span one, and then row span two, so two deep. Then we get to post number five, which is 5n. You don't need to say 5n minus zero. Five times one is five. So we're now touching the fifth post and it's now going to have a span of two for the columns, but row is one. Now, if you were to go and change this to be a six, it won't now apply to this because 6n equals 6, where we don't have a sixth post on here. So post 5 reverts back to the standard 1 and 1. Remember, this is something you could use for like your custom post type, your normal post, your products. So if you want to have a bit more of a bespoke layout on any of your pages, this is how easy it is to do. Um, if you were going to have six posts, you got to make sure your n starts with a six. So everything becomes six n. If you're going to show 10 posts, it starts with 10 n. You could also, if you want, just go with, let me just show you. Let's go back to the layout. I'm now going to show uh, 11 posts on purpose. OK, so because this is working with the logic of 5 n. And again, I want to just remind you and I'm sure you're familiar with it. The first five are going to be part of this pattern. 
the next five repeats the pattern and then the next five repeats again. So I intentionally went for 11. So there's your first five and then your six to 10 because that's your next five now repeats the pattern. But number 11 is the next five, but you only have one post. And then this is what happens because it continues the pattern. So if you wanted a particular pattern, just bear in mind the numbers and at what point does the pattern start again? So if it was 4N, it would be 1 to 4, then it would be 5 to 8, then it would be 9 to 12, then it works in groups of four, okay? Uh, I'm in Rand Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow. And I hope this helps you out to be a little bit more innovative and inventive. I'd love to see your comments on this. Take care. See you soon. Bye.